Hello everyone, my name is Van Huang and I'm the author of Girl Giant and the Monkey King. I'm also a librarian, yay! Um, this is my very first video, <laughs> What I hope to bring to my channel are like wholesome, fulfilling practices and tools that uh, will help solve my writer problems because I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, but instead of focusing on what's miserable about writing, which, you know, let's be honest, can be a lot, uh, I want to focus more on like solutions and things that I can do to help me get through those hurdles. Um, and yeah, that's what my channel is going to be about. And today I'm going to be talking about social media addiction. So this is something that I've been struggling with a lot and I uh, I hope I'm not alone or I know I'm not alone. So first of all, I'm not saying that like social media is evil or bad or terrible or whatever. Um, but for me, it was just starting to become a real problem because uh, not only was it like a time suck for me, it was just causing a lot of uh, anxiety and uh, making me um, like giving me a lot of mental health issues because I was reading all this bad stuff on the news which you know is a lot but um, there there's a lot happening in the world but definitely reading about them or looking at them or constantly searching them out and doom scrolling all the time was not doing anything for my mental health I would be like warming up my food for 30 seconds and looking at my phone or my Instagram or I would be like walking somewhere and have my eyes glued on the phone and not even know where I was going um, I do use it to connect with other authors and to interact with my friends so there are benefits to social media but I just needed to cut back for a number of reasons so I'm going to talk about two things that worked for me the first one is the Forest app, which was recommended to me by my uh, author friend, Kylie Lee Baker. And the Forest app is this amazing productivity tool where the idea is that you plant a tree for um, whatever task you want to work on, which for me is writing, and the tree grows as you're working. And the thing is that you cannot move away from the app. And if you do, your tree withers. Like, it doesn't stop growing. It dies. And then it stays in your forest forever over time you grow all these trees and then you create a little forest and then like you can see your forest for the day the week the month the year and after you've gathered all these trees it looks really really cute like i i just love it so much so thank you kylie for recommending that to me um a great option in the forest app is once you make friends you can plant with them and then the thing is if one of you moves away while you're planting together both of your trees die like both of your trees wither like Talk about pressure. <laughs> when, every time you grow a tree, you also collect some coins. And when you collect enough coins, you can buy cuter trees. And I've made enough to get a weeping willow, which has a little lake under it. It's so cute. Um, and then the thing is that like, once you have the tree, um, in order to earn that lake or in order to grow that lake, you have to be working or writing for at least two hours. And so that's like really motivating to me. Like I love a water feature. And so every day I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get that lake, you know? So I, I really love the Forest app and I highly recommend it. Uh, they're not you know, paying me to talk about this or anything. I, I just really love it. Thank you, Kylie. Um, shout out to Kylie Lee Baker for... So Kylie uh, wrote the book uh, Keeper of Night, which is about a half reaper, half Shinigami, has to travel to the Japanese underworld and defeat uh, three yokai demons in order to serve the goddess of death. And it's like really, really good and uh, super spooky and perfect for this uh, season. And if you read it now, the sequel is out in like a few weeks. So yay, go check it out. Okay, another uh, solution that worked for me um, is a block list app. I don't have any willpower, and even if I'm not like consciously going on my phone to use Instagram or Twitter or whatever, like my fingers remember how to get there, and I'll like pick up my phone and like, like it'll just swipe on its own, like it has its own brain, and then next thing I know, I've been on Instagram for like two hours, <laughs> maybe not two hours, maybe like one hour, which is like still pretty bad, but yeah, and then. And then like, where did that time go? I could have been writing. I could have been spending time with my kid. I could have been reading a really good book. So then I just, um, I just blocked all the apps and all the websites that are like major time sucks or just terrible for my mental health. And it just, it, it really, really helped. And um, like I said, I, I didn't quit any of these things altogether. I, um, and I actually still schedule or allow myself time um, to go on these apps. And then I call it like anxiety hour where I just give myself the freedom to be very anxious and to like read the news and to like 
whatever I've been putting off or whatever I like, I feel like I need to do, but like not really. Um, I, I use that hour to just get it all out and get it out of my system. And then, and then once the hour is over, that's it. No, no more social media, no more, no more anxiety inducing activities. And it's just back to being wholesome, fulfilling and, um, focusing on, you know, the, the things that will help me. So yeah, those are the two things, the forest app and blocklist app. And um, that's kind of helped me like regain some of my time. So before I leave, I wanted to talk about a book that really helped me recently, which is The Power of Fun by Katherine Price. And um, I picked this up because I have a lot of problems and one of them is not having enough fun. Uh, I'm very like productive and goal oriented and my days are constantly filled with like to-do lists and like I never actually have any fun. So I um, picked up this book and found it very empowering and very life-changing. So maybe it'll help you. I highly recommend the audiobook, uh, which is read by the author herself. And then because I am a librarian, I cannot leave without uh, giving you some library tips. So chances are you haven't been back to the library in a long time and that might be because you owe a lot of money. Uh, and a lot of libraries have kind of done away with them and um, if they haven't, then they might have some sort of program. Like LA County Library has a yearly program where you can read away your fines. Like for every 20 minutes or something, you get like a dollar erased. So look into your local library and see if they've done something like that. If not, find an online library that will let you create a digital account where you can check out eBooks for free um, and other resources. Because if you're not using the library, you're missing out on a lot, a lot of tools and resources, um, books, materials, databases, that sort of thing. Um, it's really helped me in a lot of my research for my writing. And um, I'm gonna talk about that in a future episode. I hope you, um, got something out of this video and I hope you'll be back for more. So until next time, bye. Writing can be hard. I'm here to obsess over the wholesome, delightful, fulfilling practices, solutions, and tools that I love about crafting stories. I'm Van Huang, author and librarian. Join me on my journey of joyful writing.